Two sides with different motivations. Away we go with referee Daniel Elder getting proceedings underway. Third meeting of the season between these two. Honours even that three-all draw here in round four. And a goalless draw at Suncorp in early December. Brisbane are in good form. They've won five of their last seven and looking for a third straight win tonight. The Phoenix, though, have lost their last three and won just one of their last seven against Brisbane. They haven't beaten the Roar at home since October 2015. Let's go sideline to former All-White Rafty Gregorio. Hearing a bit of wind through the effects, Mike Graff. Is that a factor ground, uh, at ground level? Yeah, there's a bit of breeze chase flying through the park here, but uh, the, the pitch itself is in good nick considering the Hurricanes triumph last night. So uh, the pitch has held up. The ground has done a great job and, uh, and a good night for football in a hole. Yeah, it's a multi-purpose ground, Westpac Stadium. Super Rugby last night with the Hurricanes beating the Highlanders. 24 hours later, it's football. And a good start from the Phoenix. They've earned a corner inside the first 60 seconds. Yeah, good start, as you said, Jason. And Libertaro Dorato Kakachi getting down the left hand side. Let's hope we'll see more of that from the, the youngster this afternoon. Martia Lewitch is on set piece duty early in this one. Good header away by Bowles. Of course, Matthew Redenton has been the man for corners and free kicks for most of the season. He's currently in Spain with the All Whites, where they had a 1 0 loss to Canada this morning. And the first game under the charge of Fritz Schmid. Good to see Sarpreet Singh getting an all-whites debut in that game as well. Dane Ingham, the Brisbane Raw defender, also coming off the bench and uh, playing a part this morning. Chris Greenacre has had to go quite deep into his squad, hasn't he, Harry, with certainly the bench. Very fresh-faced. Willem Ebbing and Sam Phillip. Teenagers yet to make an A-League appearance. Yeah, good experience for those young players, and it comes at the expense as you talked about Tom Doyle, Alex Rufa, Michael McGlinchey, Sarpret Singh, Matt Redendon, who's been very impressive this season for the Phoenix, all in Canada with the All Whites. So expect to see some youngsters come on in the second half potentially. Here's Mackay with an early effort. Ollie Sale wasn't sure he had to go. And Matthew Mackay, he doesn't get a lot of goals, but he is able to hit from distance, and it was on his favoured left foot. Ollie Sale just pretty pleased to see that one fly high and wide. He had a bit of a chuckle with, with Matty McKay just before the game in the pre-match uh, interviews. Scored a couple of goals already this season. Lovely striker of the ball. It's an integral part of that midfield for the Brisbane Roar. Matty McKay never seems to get old. I mean, I used to play against him at the Brisbane Strikers back in the old NSL, so he's been around for a number of years, but obviously a Socceroo as well in his time. Very influential player. Yeah, 59 appearances for Australia. A couple of goals played against Spain and the Netherlands at the last World Cup. Last appearance for the national side was a couple of years ago. I remember he and... Uh, Mass Madoka used to buzz around in the raw midfield, didn't they? And uh, Matty Mackay still doing the business. Phoenix looking to get a foothold in the game. Patterson, Lewitch in the early exchanges. Monty Patterson with a bit of a point to prove. He hasn't had many opportunities here in Wellington and left out of Fritz Schmidt's all-white squad. Now here is Kalajirovic who's remained on side. Not too many in the area. Towards the far post, looking for the runner Burns, but a bit big from Kalajirovic. I think Logan Rogerson made a good run across the near post as well. Roy Krishna or, or, or also away on international duty with Fiji. So if you're thinking that uh, the Phoenix up front looked dangerous last week, that pace of Burns and Krishna. Well, Logan Rogerson's uh, hasn't got a, a, a bad set of wheels either. He's, he's very, very quick. Yeah, that's uh, certainly his main asset, or one of them is his pace. He's very, very quick. He's only had 41 minutes of A-League action in his nearly three seasons at the club. So to get a start tonight is a real opportunity for the youngster. Roy Krishnaraj actually got back from international duty. He, uh, he flew from 
Manila through Singapore to Nandi and down to Wellington. He got here just after one o'clock this afternoon, so he's taken his place on the bench, Roy Krishna. There he is. He is an ambassador for Fiji Airways, so I'm sure they looked after him, particularly on that last leg from Nandi down to Wellington. He probably set up with the pilots. A goal scorer for his national side on Thursday night in a 3-2 uh, loss to the Philippines. Daniel Elder thought about blowing up, but allowed play to go on. Here's Patterson. Franjic trying to slow his progress, isn't able to, and it's Bowles who gets it away. Monty Patterson with some good early energy, Raf, not far from you. Yeah, I think well done by the referee to, to play advantage there, because there was a bit of a, a late challenge there on Burns, but uh, Monty Patterson definitely playing and a, a midfield role next to Parachki and uh, Mateo Lulic, and he, he probably wants to get a lot out of himself tonight. He, he's got something to prove, like you said, Jace Pry, and he's, uh, he wants to make sure he's got a contract coming next year and then the years to come at this Phoenix side. Looks like a midfield diamond. Harry with Parachki at the base, Patterson and Lewich right and left, and then Burns, although he's dropped a bit deeper now, looks to be in the 10 behind the front too, so it's, a, it's a, the diamond against the Raw's 4 2 3 1. Be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, there's a number of times we've seen Goran Praski take up a central defensive role as well, so very versatile across that area of the park. Goran Praski, as you see, a wayward pass from Monty Patterson. Giving it away to Holman. Macaroni sprinting ahead. Can he get to that one? The 38 year old legs couldn't take him quickly enough, and Holman holds his head. He realises there was just a bit too much weight on that, but we talked about Monty Patterson's energy. A wayward pass there almost opened up an opportunity for. Brisbane. You know, I think Chris Green will be looking to try and get a bit more out of Matia Lewich. We've seen with the sort of uh, form that's brought him two goals so far this season. Galloway linking with Patterson again. Burns buzzing around. Two in the area with their hands up. One is Kalajirovic, the other Rogerson. Doesn't reach either with Hingit getting it away. Brisbane Raw officially open, opening their new training base this week. The City of Logan training base. They're very proud of their new surroundings. State-of-the-art facility for players to train in and for games to be played for all of the Brisbane Raw office staff also to work out of. Brisbane Roar, of course, with a uh, famous tradition of passing it out from the back. Ange Postacoglu, of course, brought that to the football club during the golden years at the start of the decade. Still some remnants of that as they uh, bring the ball forward from the back. Mackay, of course, was a big part of those teams. Here's Ivan Franjic. Karatsky back. And Sale clears. Jason, now that was quite nicely played by the Rizm Raw straight from the back all the way up this left-hand side. Ivan Pranjic, you'll see him a lot tonight get up that left wing and get him behind. And the nicely timed pass by Mackay. Unfortunately, his first touch on Pranjic was a bit too far, but uh, that looked dangerous. from Jacob Pepper. It's John Eloisi. He's, uh, he's cut a, uh, a rather happier figure in recent weeks than at times earlier on in the season. Lewitch tries to escape from a tight area. It's 
going to go the way of the Brisbane Raw with Bowles. Paratsky steps in. Now, Bowles is out of position, so there might be a bit of a uh, an overload here for the Phoenix. Burns. Three in the area. Burns might go alone. Lewis, can he get it onto that favoured left foot? He's going to line up the shot. Straight at Jamie Young. We all know that that's his range, Martia Lewis. A nice strike by Marcia Lewic. And we had Goran, uh, sorry, Scott Galloway making an overlapping run down the right. Sort of hesitated for a for a minute. He created that yard of space to open it up on that favoured left foot. Jamie Young right behind it though. Yeah, he's been very good, Jamie Young this year one of the standout goalkeepers in the competition many believe actually that he is the best going around in 2017-18 73 saves second only to Vedran Janjetovic saves 75 percent of the shots that come his way fairly comfortable on that occasion a great angle this one here expect to see more that more from Matea Lewic in those sort of areas as well. Here's Franjic, another former soccer route into Mackay. A Christensen. To thread the needle, and he has done two for Holman. Back for Macaroni. Fox scrambling deep into enemy territory. Went the raw. Holman involved. Macaroni as well. Fox, a vital intervention. Well, this is a great run by Fred Holman because he actually made the mind up for Thomas Christensen. It's a great run in behind. Just an absolutely defence-splitting pass there from Thomas Christensen. Botiak with the corner. Holman on the volley. Here's Holman again, involved nice and early. Jacob Pepper getting forward, finds Macaroni and continues his run. Here is Jacob Pepper. Well, he scored last week, Jacob Pepper. He must have a bit of a taste for it. He hadn't scored for six years before that. A goal last week, and he was up in the opposing penalty area again. This is good by Brisbane. We're already getting runners in behind the defensive line of the Phoenix. Brett Holman a few minutes ago. Jacob Pepper on this occasion. Really testing the lines of the Phoenix early on. Ball presented to Kakachi, who quickly plays it to Logan Rogerson, who had drifted just the wrong side of the last defender. He's going to play on the edge as well. Logan Rogerson on that line. Loves making runs in behind. He's spoken earlier on about the sort of pace he possesses. So he just has to be a bit, bit mindful of looking along the line when he's making those runs. The timing of those runs is so critical. coming together of a couple of players there. Holman and Fox, I think. They both get rather gingerly to their feet as Rogerson now uses his pace again. Paratsky's in the area, so too Patterson. Good sliding challenge there from Daniel Bowles. That pace you talked about, and that time he was the right side of the defender, Harry. Yeah, that's right. It was this touch here, though, just a little bit heavy, wasn't it? Because it allowed Daniel Bowles to get across. That's probably been too critical of, of Rogerson. It was just that last touch, it's just like too heavy. He has earned a second corner for his side, though, which Lewis will take.
Yeah, I think the way Ivan Franić has seen him already two or three occasions push forward, and already the uh, the Phoenix have found a bit of space in behind that vacated area. Clever into play for them, Patterson and Galloway. The rebounds rather fortuitously off Christensen and putting his body on the line. Martia Lewitch, he seems up for it tonight. He had a uh, very energetic game up at North Harbour last weekend against the Jets. There were accusations that perhaps he uh, coasted through certain parts of certain games, but he was well involved last week and has been for the first 15 here. Basin here, I just want to mention the fact, if you look at the position of Matty McCoy on the side, he does, he does a wonderful job of supporting play from deep, but he's able to pop up in little pockets and link players and create things before he created an opportunity for Christensen to play that pass. He's playing in the pocket. There's no one from the field. He's currently picking him up too tightly. He's a danger man for me. Yeah, well spotted. Raff, he does tend to buzz around, doesn't he? Matty McCoy he, uh, has a brief of being one of those two defensive midfielders, but as you say, he joins the attack frequently and there he is now challenging Ollie Sale right up in the penalty area now can Rogerson use his pace to advantage here Bowles could hear him coming yeah I think this is going to be a good tussle tonight between so Daniel Bowles Jacob Pepper I'd love to see Nathan Burns on one side Rogerson on the other we know Kalajurovic although he's been you know gone through a, a bit of a dry spell at the moment I think he's scored five with his head earlier on the season, so if we can, Phoenix can work the ball into those sort of areas, good service into the box. I mean, that was one of the things we saw last week, Jason, was the pace of Saprit Singh, Roy Christian, Nathan Burns. I mean, they were too quick even for some of the, the, the supporting midfielders from the Phoenix to get forward into the box as well. Hinga, lovely little shuffle of the hips. He found himself all the way up in enemy territory, Jack Hinga. He's only got a couple of goals in 162 A-League games. Lovely little shimmy here to get away from a couple of players, Jack Hinga. Look at this. It's dancing with the star stuff from Jack Hinga. Botiak with this corner. Headed goalwards. And last touch off a Phoenix defender, says referee Elder. It's a good delivery from Botiak. Was it off the back of Pratsky, was it? And the Phoenix thought Pepper had the last touch there. Nonetheless, they'll have to defend another corner. Delivery's good again. This one's up in the air. Franjic is there. Rogerson back helping out and just hacks it away. Planted back in by Hingit. Good to play between Christensen and Holman. I think Christensen just lost his footing there. There was no appeal to the referee for a foul of any sort. Quickly back to his feet, the Dane. As I mentioned at the start of the game, this is Harmony Round, celebrating diversity in football, as well as plenty of Australians and New Zealanders out there. We've got eight other nationalities represented. A couple of Serbians, a Croatian and a Fijian in the Phoenix match day squad and for the Raw Thomas Christensen the Dane Massimo Maccaroni the Italian Fahid Ben Kalfala from Tunisia Eric Botiak on the ball now the Frenchman and a Brazilian Enrique on the bench so the diversity and the uh, eclectic nature of football is well in evidence here tonight A 
offside flag up here. It's a lazy pass from Fox. Allowing Holman to get forward again. Boti outside. Holman ignores him. Fox got the block in. Phoenix looked to quickly turn defence into attack. Monty Patterson is herring up on the uh, right-hand side. Kalajirovic decides to go alone. Angles now. Here's Patterson. What a brilliant sliding tackle from Ivan Franjic. It looked for all the world as though that would be the opening goal. Franjic going to deck with an absolutely crucial tackle. Well, I think Monty Patterson, when he saw that one open up, and Kalajirovic did so well here. A couple of times at ball between the legs. Oh, fantastic save. Will tackle from Ivan Franjic. Kalajirovic, a touch on that from Young, had to be. Andrei Kalajirovic, desperate to break that 10 game scoring drought. A great strike by Kalajirovic there. That one just swing out from inside to out for a split second there. Jamie Young. Getting down quickly to his left. Good pressure from the Phoenix. Kalajirovic had time with the Roar, of course, in 2014-15. Five goals in ten games for them. Lewis to take. This time it's the strong punch from Young. Kalajirovic can't cushion his header into the path of Burns. Jack Hingott again joining the attack and putting the pedal down. And it comes towards Botiak, who got himself into the centre forward position. Well, Coach Chris Greenacre is off the bench. I think it's I think disappointed that the strikers, uh, sorry, the, the Brisbane War are able to get out so early and so easy from the back. I think the key there, Harry, is the Phoenix not applying enough pressure high up the park, allowing quality ball to be played in behind, which encourages these kind of great attackers in terms of Macaroni, Holman going in behind, and Boutiak. And that, uh, you know, when you leave space in behind yourself and there's no pressure high, you encourage them always to put them behind you, and that's what the Phoenix are finding currently. Here's Burns in a tight area. He's good in these situations. Gets away from a couple of would-be tacklers. Burns again, looking for a little one-two. Kalajerovic was offside, was it? Was the flag up? No, it's a corner. Clever little interplay on the edge of the penalty area. Oh, I think you're getting fans off the edge of their seats at the moment, the way you get the sense of anticipation when Nathan Burns picks the ball up and he starts running at players. Great little flick by Monty Patterson as well. Corner taken, it's Fox. Still looking for that first A-League goal, the big centre-back. This is his 30th game. He hit the bar, I remember, against the Newcastle Jets last year. Last week, of course, he had that goal-bound header saved right at the death by the Newcastle Jets custodian, Jack Duncan. He'd love to open his account with a goal. I'm sure it's highly likely to come from a header, I would say. Careless here from the Raw. They've given it away, Lewic. Nice little touch from Patterson, goes again and gets it from Rogerson. Monty Patterson, once again, cover defence was aware. Daniel Bowles on this occasion. They've got their hands full tonight. Bowles, Pepper, Franjic and Hingert. He just talked about, just before, Jason, some sloppy turnover possession from the Raw in the middle of the park. And again, it was behind uh, Ivan Franjic that the, the Phoenix were able to find some space. Franjic and Kalfala down this left-hand side. Here's Mackay, ever-present, always available. Holman, he'll line the shot up. Once again, Oli Sale saw it come off the boot. And that time, I think he was reasonably confident it wasn't going in the top corner. 
but Brett Holman is being afforded just a bit too much space on the edge of the area, I'm sure, for most Phoenix fans liking. the season from Brett Holman. McKay with uh, sort of all, uh, Socceroos sort of experience of well, Brett Holman's 60 odd caps for the Socceroos as well. Vastly experienced player throughout his, his career playing in Holland and in Aston Villa in the UK. The stints in UAE as well. We'll tug on the shirt there of Burns. I remember actually uh, Brett Holman scoring a last minute winner for Australia when the Socceroos and the All Whites played their farewell match at the MCG before they both went to the 2010 World Cup. It was one all deep into that game and Brett Holman scored with Patrick the last kick. Here's Rogerson. Pulls it back for Patterson. Once again it's blocked Pepper into the area. Burns. Hinga goes down. Kakachi tries to fire one in. Three separate opportunities there for the Phoenix. Desperate defending by the visitors. Oh, there's orange shirts. Diving all over the place inside the 18 yard box. Monty Patterson. And he's had a good opening. 20 odd minutes for the Phoenix as well. It's all on in the inside the 18 yard box here. Rogerson doing well. Patterson with the initial one. Nathan Burns having a crack. And then Kakachi following up there. It's a great spell of pressure here for the Phoenix. I mean, look. It was similar sort of uh, to last week, Jason, where they had built immense pressure on the Newcastle Jets last week, but just weren't able to take their, ta their chances. Desperate defending from the, uh, from the Brisbane Roar as well. Monty Patterson back on his feet. He, of course, is off contract with Ipswich Town at the end of this current season on loan at the Phoenix until then and trying to do what he can to earn a deal over this side of the world. A number of players off contract with Wellington. We might get to that in a second. Here's one who's on contract for next year, Fox. Kakachi hasn't got a contract, but is making some great strides towards earning one for next year. Tries a little nutmeg there on Jack Hingert, who's seen that all before. And it is Kakachi's foul on Hingert, which eventually gets the roar of free kick. If you count Monty Patterson, there are 15 players in the Wellington Phoenix squad who are not contracted beyond the end of this current season. So a lot of these guys playing for their professional futures for a uh, chance to play for Wellington beyond this season. I guess without knowing it, many of them might be playing at Westpac Stadium for the final time. But Jason saying that without a helmsman... Uh as known, if, you, if you're going to coach, how can you pick your players or sign players? So it's a difficult situation, both for players and club. If you're not knowing who's uh, going to be taking the squad, how do you know what players want to keep? So it's a tough one. It really is, Raf. You're so right. It was a similar situation, really, with Dalia Kalasic, who was signed quite late in the piece, and so players weren't sure where they're staying, where they're going. Goran Paratsky said during the week he hadn't had a conversation with anybody about his playing future. We heard from Andrew Durante, though, that he is in the process of perhaps looking to extend for another year. The likes of Kalajerovic, Lewic, Marco Rossi, Matt Redenton, Michael McGlinchey, all off contract. Holman and... Kelfala combined. Kelfala again looking for three or four orange shirts in the middle. It was deflected and Ollie Sale scampered to save it from going for a corner. Patterson back to full fitness.
quick feet from Rogerson. The 217s, Mackay and Patterson together. Wobbly old pass, but it finds its mark. Half an hour gone in Wellington. Kikachi was encouraged to go forward by a couple of teammates there, but he didn't. He decided to go back and rebuild again. Just wonder with Liberato Kikachi, while he is very left-footed, he's played a lot of his junior football at centre-back, and getting up and down the left-hand side isn't something that's going to necessarily come naturally to him. He's been asked to do it quite a bit in this system. Here's Burns. Deep into enemy territory, Nathan Burns. It's another corner off Pepper. Nathan Burns has yet to open his account. This is his 12th game back in a second stint with the Phoenix. He got 13 and 24 when he was last here. Desperate to open his account second time around. Jacob Pepper, the man to deny him this time. Yeah, just keeping their uh, composure at the split second time, aren't they? Brisbane, and we saw a few minutes ago, bodies flying everywhere. We saw the, uh, the last gasp challenge from Evan Franjic and Monty Patterson. The Phoenix are doing a great job just getting in behind and getting those players with pace like Rogerson, Patterson. Kikachi's pushing forward as well. You made the point about the, uh, the chances that the Phoenix are creating and the fact that they weren't able to convert many last week, Harry. Come back to that. Here's Holman. Macaroni the target. Kelfala. Franjic trying to make an angle for a pass. And the Phoenix have scored just the 25 goals this season but they've taken 243 shots on goal. So it's a really low percentage. Just by contrast, the Raw have 27 goals, so about the same number, but they've only taken 185 shots to score those goals. So if you want to call it a conversion rate of shots to goals, then the Phoenix have certainly uh, some work to do in that area. Only really one in 10 is going in. Patterson gets the crowd excited. Three in the area. Nice little cross in, and Lewich missed the header. A little glance was all that was needed, perhaps, to guide that one into the far corner. Yeah, that's a, that was a golden opportunity for Matteo Lewic. I mean, he drifted in between defenders. It's a great ball for Monty Patterson, too. And you're right, Jason, all it needed was just a, just a touch to direct it onto goal. Franjic again looking to join the attack. Kelfala, Durante comes across to cover. Good interception by the Wellington Phoenix skipper. Missed last week with a hip, a hip flexor injury. It was doubt over whether he'd be available tonight, but he's taken his place. Oli Saylor will enjoy getting his hands around that one. another player who was in doubt with injury he went off last week against the Jets Galloway but he's recovered just a bit messy there from the Phoenix in the build-up Kakachi calling for the ball Lewich had a look and then decided to go himself Martia Lewich it's such a familiar sight isn't it especially at that end of the ground from Martia Lewich 
and a good overlapping run there by Kukachi to create that opportunity for Lulic. You know, that, that run forced players out wide, and Lulic see the opening down the middle in the end. He gets a shot for himself, but uh, I think Lavrida Kukachi is looking very strong, and he's looking good in position. He's looking good at left back there for the Phoenix. Botiak trying to bamboozle the youngster. He was having none of it. Good defending, and now Nathan Burns, who was actually very, very deep for a guy playing 10. Now he's getting into position he wants to be in. Frees up Rogerson. A shove by Franjic. Nothing wrong with it, says the referee, shoulder to shoulder. Experience against youth, perhaps. Nothing in it really was there, but Scott Galloway was also making a, a run on this right-hand side. Good energy from Nathan Burns, though, picking that ball up inside his own half. Look, I understand that shoulder to shoulder, but for me, that's he's made the first contact. That's gone beyond him. That's that's a foul. I, I, I can't understand that one. Here's Kalfalar again, popping up on the right-hand side. Holman. Holman, Kelfalar and Botiak are very interchangeable in that three behind Macaroni, aren't they? Kelfalar's been on the left and on the right. Holman's been down the middle and then out to the left. Botiak has come inside a bit. Patterson looking to free up Rogerson. He will get that, will he? No, Young was aware. Good sweeper keeper. Strategy from Jamie Young. When you talked about Kakachi before, Jace, but you know, the likes of Tom Doyle, who we saw can also play in that sort of central position. He played that position last week against the Jets and looked very comfortable so they've certainly got some options centrally or out wide on that left Scott Galloway sort of made this one right side his own yeah I think it right Harry I think Tom Doyle added another string to his bow last week didn't he playing at left centre back in the absence of Andrew Durante Marco Rossi still not available with a calf injury another guy off contract of course so who knows where he might be or not be next year so maybe it's a uh, it's a natural home for someone like a Tom Doyle. Dylan Fox, Andrew Durante, as we say, both likely to be around next year. Kakachi might be your uh, your starting left back. I also think, you know, when you look at Durante too, you know, whether he stays, whether he, you know, he moves on uh, into another role within the club. But you also got that those leadership qualities with Tom Doyle in that central position as well. So he is very adept as to, you know, lifting the players, motivating the team. He is seen as one of the leaders. Here's Patterson. Rebounds off the wall, which does its job. And Patterson's gone down again here. I just wonder whether this might be a little bit more serious. It's like one of those soft tissue injuries on the back of his right knee. It was uh, Pepper who got the vital touch on that one. Yeah, we see him struggle earlier on with a bit of a knock as well. And to be his knee. There's the cruciate test going. A couple of options on the bench. Adam Parkhouse is one. Chris Greenacre might perhaps consider Willem Ebbing for, a, for an A-League debut. Parkhouse, I guess, would be the more logical choice this early in the game. He's still got Roy Krishna there, Jason Harry, and I think, uh, I don't know how much he's got on his legs, but I'm sure there's some fuel in that tank to go. Yeah, well, you can see Krishna there, alongside Luis Italiano, the reserve goalkeeper, Sam Phillip in the middle, and Willem Ebbing, but it's going to be Adam Parkhouse, who is going to enter the fray with six minutes to go before half-time. I think Monty Patterson is done, and that's very unfortunate. He's had a good 39 minutes. Yeah, he looks looked very lively, hasn't he? And as we pointed out, a point to prove, a contract to play for, potentially. Does look like he's succumbed to a, what looks like a medial, medial ligament injury potentially. Graf would be a good to get, uh, get a good read at half time on Monty Patterson. Yeah, look, Harry, on that shot he did earlier, he did seem to drag that that right leg, and I think it, that was you can see a bit of a twist there, and maybe the right on the I think it's the right medial ligament, maybe a small grade medial tear, maybe a stretch there, and I think the the test you saw by the physio there indicated there was a bit of uncomfort for the for young Patterson there. So unfortunate for him, 
hopefully not too much time off and then he get back in the back in the straps Lewich with the corner again Durante with a little flick he got a bit far advanced at the near post to really get the angles right yeah Patterson's been energetic probably the standout actually for the Phoenix certainly in the attacking third Burns has been good too though looking to get on the ball so now Adam Parkhouse gets a uh, decent chunk of time to impress. He's also did, did his defensive duties as well, Monty Patterson. Was very hard box to box. Unfortunate to see him limp off for 40 minutes. Into the final five minutes of the first half. Little dink from Mackay, Kalfala, Macaroni lurking. Sale just stood at his near post, which they tell me is the right thing for a goalkeeper to do, and pushed it behind for a corner. Two, two, three. Look at this run in behind from Kalfala. Bit of a hole there at the back. Dylan Fox potentially caught out of position, I think. He caught ball watching. Only Sale had to be on his toes. He's never scored against the Phoenix. Fahid Ben Kalfala. Coming towards the end of his fourth season in the A-League. Variation by the Phoenix this time. Durante was there and Oli Sale will claim. Phoenix looking to come home at the end of the first half of the wet sail. Lewis, he's urged to shoot, he does shoot. And once again, the radar off from the big Serb. It's an arm wrestle here in Wellington. Christensen looks to free up Holman. Galloway got a touch to it, and then his mates at the back helped him out. Hangit can't get it past Parkhouse. Rogerson now may be able to exploit the space that Hangit has left behind, but he's back quickly, the raw right back. Burns sets off on one of those trademark runs, finds Rogerson. Heavy traffic for Logan Rogerson. Paratsky. Galloway. Give and go. Here's Galloway. Now Lewis. He was encouraged to shoot again, but Matty Mackay has seen a man try to go past him probably several hundred times in his A-League career. He wasn't buying what Martia Lewis was selling on that occasion. Good play here from Scott Galloway. We saw Mate Lewis just try and guide that ball in between two defenders. To the final minute we go of regulation time. Kalfala. Good piece of skill down the left hand side. Good tenacity by Galloway. Now it's Christensen. <laughs> and for about the third time, Ollie Sales headed off towards his left hand side and has had his heart in his mouth to some extent. Another one flies wide from the raw. This time off the boot of Christensen. Kalfala here just bring this ball across. Christensen unmarked on the edge of the box. Full view of Oli Sales' goal.
neither goalkeeper really has had to make too many saves. We're only registering one each for these two keepers, even though there have been 11 shots on goal for the Phoenix and six for the Raw. You look like Holman, I think Lewich as well, through two or three occasions have had a good side on goal from just outside the box. We're into two added minutes. Burns. Rogerson was the target. Been a pretty even game as far as territory and possession are concerned. Too big from Holman on that occasion. The Fotiak not interested in chasing after that one. You can see in the background there the uh, little knot of supporters from St. Pat's College. There they are. That's the uh, school that is attended by Liberato Kakachi. So a number of his schoolmates have turned up tonight in dress uniform to support their uh, their classmate. Incredible, nice... thing, incredible thing, Harry. We're talking yeah. about schoolboys playing A League. I was just going to say it's a nice touch in it by, by his, his, his classmates. There they go, enjoying the uh, the first half performance. And on that left hand side too, I'm sure they're giving them all sorts of encouragement. Wonder whether they might come around this side in the second half to uh, stay nice and close. I think our producer, Dennis Katsanos, might have gone to St. Pat's College as well, but I'm not sure he's ever played in the A-League. Time ticking down. This might just about be it when uh, Ollie Sale launches this one into the Wellington sky. Indeed it is. Daniel Elder brings the scoreless first half to a close. It's been a willing battle, it's been an even battle. Shots raining in on goal at both ends, not too much on target and nothing on the scoreboard. Half time here in Wellington, it's the Phoenix nil, Brisbane nil.